Ryan, the audio should still work for you right now, right? Okay. The song got muted. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Okay, we ready to go? We are. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I need to remind you that there are that only three microphones can be on at the same time. So please mute your microphone when you're not using it. And uh, so we're opening the meeting. Uh, we're now taking uh, public comment on item two, public comment. If you are in the room, oh, I, oh, roll call. Oh, I didn't even see that on my agenda here. Okay, Madam Secretary, may I have roll call? Yes, thank you. Vice Chair Noni? Here. Uh, Board Member Bartholo? Here. And Chair Wright? Here. Let the record reflect that all board members are present. Oh, I see Chair, that's on the very top. That's why I missed it. Okay, all right, now we can have public comment uh, on item two, public comment. If you're in the room, please move to the microphone and wait for the timer to appear on the screen. Anyone wishing to make public comment who is present at the meeting will be able to use the microphone. The chair will then ask Secretary Montoya if the, any email public comments were received, and if so, to read the public comments. No emails were received. Okay, uh, now, uh, uh, Director Burke, would you introduce our next speaker? Yes, thank you, Chair Wright and members of the subcommittee. Our only item for today is new and revised miscellaneous fees and charges. And Kevin Buchanan, our budget and financial analysis manager will be making the presentation. <laughs> and then where's my um it's not right do i turn like the button to turn on the mic is it on it's on it's on yeah. okay i didn't know if there's like a red light hi everyone um thank you chair wright and members of the subcommittee my name is kevin buchanan budget and financial analysis manager for the water department The miscellaneous fees are a cost recovery mechanism utilized by the Santa Rosa Water Department to seek reimbursement for customer specific services. This fee structure is important as it ensures that the costs of providing such services are not absorbed by our ratepayer base. With the three new fees proposed today, our miscellaneous fee schedule consists of 86 line items. These fees have generally been calculated by considering the staffing, vehicle, and material costs incurred in providing each service. The fees were last updated at the BPU's public hearing on December 15th, 2022, which added several new fees at that time. I apologize, I'm forgetting to move my slides forward. So that just went with my whole last bit there. We're proposing the implementation of three new fees with this item for gate fobs, broken viper locks, and broken collars. The gate fobs will be utilized to provide electronic access to the Laguna treatment plant for our trucked waste haulers. The broken collar fee reimburses the department for instances where a customer has had service locked off and in an attempt to regain service illegally, they damage or break the collar devices. The broken Viper lock fee reimburses the department for replacement of our enhanced locking mechanism in the event a customer tampers with or damages the lock. In the event that a customer breaks a collar, they would then be charged the broken collar fee and a Viper lock, um, which is the enhanced locking mechanism and would be placed over the service to prevent illegal access. If the customer then damages or breaks the Viper lock, they would then be charged the new Viper lock fee.
Our proposed fee increases and modifications are accounted for in two different ways in the new and revised fees document, which has been attached to your agenda. The first can be found in the revised fees section, which spells out our proposed increases to 13 of our fees based on an updated analysis of staff and materials costs. The remainder of proposed fee in, uh, proposed cost increases are located in the escalated fees section. These fees have been escalated using the Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index for all urban consumers in the San Francisco Bay Area and considers cost increases measured from February 2023 and February 2024, which was a 2.4% increase. It's important to note that only those charges highlighted in blue on the document have actually increased in cost using this methodology. The charges in white represent those fees that had escalated by less than $1 using CPI. So the, therefore they did not change in this round of fee increases. For most of the fees that are being proposed to escalate by CPI, this is the first fee increase for those fees since at least 2013. We're proposing that the board accept this methodology with initial CPI escalations being implemented with this proposed schedule and then authorize the water director to escalate fees on July 1, 2026 and on July 1 of each year thereafter. This helps ensure that we're accounting for inflation in our cost recovery of future years. If a fee were to increase significantly in costs on the basis of staff, vehicle or materials costs, we would bring a separate item before the BPU to achieve cost recovery rather than using the CPI methodology. There is a strong precedent in the government sector for using CPI as a valid measure for general cost increases. In the city of Santa Rosa, it is already used as an escalation methodology for several items, including development fees and the rates calculated with our annual stormwater assessment. I wanted to point out that the tipping fees for our truck waste program have been set using data from the truck waste program evaluation report that was published in 2022. We're not proposing to escalate the fees at this time. We're instead requesting that we extend the current year two fee schedule through June 30th, 2026. This will synchronize the timing of our truck waste fees with the rest of our miscellaneous fee schedule at which time such fees can be reevaluated. Future truck waste fees will continue to be informed by data in the consultant study, as well as an analysis of actual costs incurred to run the program. The truck waste fees are unique among our other fees in that there's a more complex factor that is taken into consideration, including pavement impacts and treatment capacity. This slide here shows the um, small group of fees that are not changing at this time. Um, the majority of the fees here are, the dollars are probably less than $30. So a CPI increase of 2.4% wasn't enough to, to have them go up. Some of these are deposits and we're leaving the deposit amounts the same. Um, in your agenda packet, there was a document of the cost methodology, as well as a red line version to the miscellaneous fee schedule. Both of those, along with um, a proposed resolution, would go before BPU. As far as public outreach, We'll be coordinating with Water's outreach team to send notification letters to two groups, Waste Haulers and the Northern California Engineering Contractors Association. Pursuant to the requirements for public hearing items, we're also publishing notices in the Press Democrat. The first publication took place on September 15th, with the second publication planned for September 23rd. This slide shows a timeline of um, from public hearing to the BPU meeting and then 
if approved, 60 days before fees could go effective. And then our general plan of escalating fees July 1, 2026, and each year thereafter on July 1. So it is, it is requested by Santa Rosa Water that the BPU Budget Subcommittee recommend that the Board of Public Utilities, by resolution, adopt new Water Department miscellaneous fees and charges for water and wastewater services, increase certain fees based on updated cost information, adopt all fees through June 30th, 2026, and authorize the Water Director to escalate certain fees on July 1, 2026, and July 1st of each year thereafter, based on price changes as identified by the Consumer Price Index, CPI, for urban consumers in the San Francisco Bay Area. That concludes my presentation, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Do we have any questions from board members? I have a, <clears throat> a, a couple questions, maybe. Um, going back to the truck waste program, we have an established third year fee change. We're not going to implement that. And my understanding is to synchronize the changes in the future. I can get the reason I'm asking about it is because if we're going to revise the way in which we calculate fee increases, to include payment impacts, treatment capacity, and labor, in other words, a new methodology, is that likely to create a big jump in the fees? And if so, would it make more sense to implement the third year tier to go partway there and then not hit such a big jump when we finally implement the new method of calculation? Well, the first part of that is that right now, because of when the 2022 BPU meeting was with the miscellaneous fees, those truck waste fees went into effect in February. And so this annual change of fees in February was just sort of off schedule of everything else. So the first thing was just to line it up so that we're only updating fees once a year. The second part of that I think has to do with, we, went from an estimate of what we thought this program was going to cost to we've now had a chance to have staff see what it costs our staff and we've built in those costs now and so we think that these are fees are reasonable for the next year and a half but i know that the environmental compliance team would be looking to probably reevaluate that as we would Look to resync all of our fees on that July 1, 2026 schedule. And, and if I could, sorry, if I could add to that, just um, as you may recall, when we uh, adopted the truck waste fees a number of years ago in 2022, this was based on an analysis that we had done with a consultant. The truck waste program has proven to be much more um, popular than we thought it would be. We adopted a schedule of charges that was still trying to recoup costs, but still trying to be competitive. Uh, we didn't want it because it was a pretty big change from what we had first set to this initial or new rate schedule in 2022. So we wanted to make sure that if we increase these fees by quite a bit, will we still see truck waste come our way or would that drive them to go other places? Not only have we seen it still come, but it's very popular. And because of that, we really feel like we need to engage again with a consultant to reevaluate the impacts because we did look at things like potential impact to pavement and other things. But this has proved to be so much more popular than we anticipated that we do think there's a bigger burden. So we just want to make sure this gives us the time to, as uh, Kevin put forward, make sure we're on the same schedule, but then also really be able to look at it. And then we'd come back and we'd work with the waste haulers and we'd also work with you. I think we want to make sure that any changes that we make in the future, one, as was in a previous slide, it would come before the board for a public hearing, but we're also cognizant of, we don't want them to be such huge increases, right? So we thought about, should we just keep it? But again, it puts us on that odd schedule. So the thought was, let's just marry up the schedules Let's work on, on re-looking at what the impacts are and what they might be going forward. 
because of the popularity, it may even drive us to need more um, infrastructure, which could be multiple millions of dollars um, in order to keep the program going and, and growing. And so we want to factor all those things in and bring something forward that really makes sense um, in the next couple of years. We've now established that it's not as price sensitive as we thought. And my question was motivated by a concern about price sensitivity. If we've now established that there's not a great sensitivity to price, then I'm not so concerned about there being a bigger jump, you know, than we would have if we just implemented the third tier and then went to the new method. So, yeah, and I think um, I think I think there's going to be price sensitivity at some point. I think we need to figure that out. But I also um, we have our deputy director of environmental services here, who's over the truck waste program. And Sean McNeil, do you want to add a few things related to this? Yeah, thank you, um, uh, Chair Wright, members of the board. Uh, Sean McNeil with uh, the Deputy Director of Environmental Services. Uh, when we did the study and we look at the analysis and where people are taking their trucked waste, we are still quite a bit cheaper than the other um, major uh, receiver of this waste, which is East Bay Mud. Uh, so the fees, um, the fees that you're seeing really change dramatically today are these one-time permit fees. And what's happened is our um, program has developed the complexity of managing the actual permits for each of the haulers has grown. So for instance, when we first started, we didn't need to have to track manifests. We have to track manifests now. Uh, so that's an additional cost uh, of staff time that wasn't in the original assessment. And when you look at the permit fees that are being proposed here, there's the permit fees are in alignment with the permit fees for um, the other trucked waste programs. So we have just been artificially lower in that area. Um, and then what we brought before you um, previously was the tipping fees. So that's the volumetric fee. Here we're talking about the one-time permit fees. Um, and then um, the other thing that wasn't accounted in what we brought to uh, BPU was any CPI adjustment on top of our normal ramping up. So when we go through the uh, study and if we did all of their increases right away, uh, we would still be in almost every category cheaper than East Bay Mud. So we decided to take a more tactful stepwise approach to um, raising our tipping fees. Um, and so I, I do like not fully knowing what price sensitivity might be out there. So if somebody's coming and they're halfway between us and um, East Bay Mud, maybe they go one way or the other, but they're not going to drive from Windsor to East Bay Mud and save money. Um, and so, you know, proximity, the, the most expensive part of truck waste is the trucking, not the tipping. Um, and so, so that's what you're seeing today. We failed to um, bring you, we probably should have uh, brought you at the same time uh, that we brought the tipping fees. We probably should have reevaluated the other, uh, the annual fees for the permits as well, but we, we just didn't do it at that time, just was an oversight. Um, so thanks, Kevin. Thank you, that response to my concern. I, I, I think we're using the right approach here now. One uh, question I have is I don't see uh, on here a fee for uh, grease disposal. We're still collecting grease and putting it in our digesters. Is that true or not true? Or what's the status on that? So again, I, I would I would think, uh, yeah, so I was going to call Sean up, but um, it's all through the tipping fees for the high strength waste program. So that's where you'll see the grease uh, collection. And I believe it's the the high strength of the tipping fees. And that's the high strength is grease. It, it, grease is included in that. Correct. Yes. OK. That's my only question. Uh, now uh, you like to call for a motion Any or do we? I actually have to ask for public. I should look at my schedule here. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Uh, new business. Okay. Okay. I, 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 we don't ask for public comment, I guess, on that. Okay, so now I, I am right. We can ask for a motion um, in a second. I'll make a motion that we adopt the staff recommendation as printed on the presentation. I'll second. Uh, second. Now, now public comment. Oh, now public comment. Okay. <clears throat> now public comment. There we go. Is there any public comment? No, no public comment. Okay. Secretary Montaya, can we have a roll call? Yes, Vice Chair Anoni. Aye. Uh, Board Member Bartholo. Aye. And Chair Wright. Aye. Okay, and that uh, recommendation passes unanimously. Oh, that's the end of my script. And the meeting is adjourned. The meeting is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs>